In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Chess Shop plugin and how to give players permissions to use the plugin. Once you have the plugin installed, you'll do slash PL. Make sure you have Chess Shop and Luck Perms. And to make Chess Shop work, you need the plugin Vault. You will need to give your players the permission to use the plugin. When players place down a chess, they can place a sign on it. They can put their first or their they can put their username at the top or they can leave it blank. Normally you would want them to leave it blank. In the second row you put the amount of items. So let's say a stack 64. They want players to buy 64 items from them for the currency. So let's say a hundred. And what are they selling? We'll say wheat. And it will automatically put the person's username at the top. And now I can put wheat in here for people to buy. If I want people to sell wheat to me, I'll do how much we I want them to sell. Sell them for $25. Wheat. So players can sell wheat to me for 25 and buy wheat for 100 for a stack at a time. Let's say if I want to put a buy and sell sign on just one sign. So let's say put 64, buy for 100. This is the semicolon, but instead of that, I'm going to hold shift and place that down. So and then wheat at the bottom and there with this one sign they can buy wheat and sell wheat let's go and show you how to set up the permissions so what I'm going to do is do slash LP for luck perms editor it's preparing a new editor and then click on the link yes I go to group default and then type in chest there's chest shop name infinite would be setting up a shop for anybody we don't want that if you wanted them to not have the taxes for the shops then you can change this so normally what you want is for them to have the buy shops they can create a shops. If we want them to create infinite, so we'll do chest shop dot shop dot create dot infinity. So we'll put the star down. And we'll add that so they can make any shop. I'll also add chest shop dot shop dot cell cell dot infinity then press add and then press apply it's all added no error showed up now let's take take a look at the config go to your server go to file manager go to plugins go to chess shop go to config here you can change a bunch of stuff like shop containers right now players can only use chest for shops and trap chests if I wanted them to use shulkers, I'll have to add every shulker like per full in all caps shulker box. Now they will able to make shops with purple shulker boxes after I save content and reboot the server. Should you tax your players, you can change that here. Server tax, shop creation price if you want, shop refund if they destroy it. So let's say if you're using Floodgate, this is for Bedrock players, so it tells you what to do. Right here, if you're using Floodgate, this is the same symbols down here, so after two slashes there's a star so put a star there but since floodgate has like certain characters to the beginning like let's say if you don't have the beginning player name as a star for bedrock users let's say if you have it as 
a dash like that. Then you will change the star to a dash. On my other server, I have it as a dot, so I would put a dot there. This is for hopper protection, so let's say if you have a shop and another player comes and places a hopper underneath it, then it will stop working. So that's what this is for, but until I put the protection on, then the hoppers aren't going to work. Now remember to save content, reboot the server. That's it for this plugin tutorial, and bye.